go with, let's start with a little cheers here. Okay. Celebratory cheers. Yes. Welcome to Divine Way TV, where we talk all things real estate, money, motivation, and mindset. And Greg, why are we here today? We're here because uh, a coaching call, a coaching call that happened about three months ago yeah. that led to us buying a house in West Sacramento. Mm -hmm. uh, bought that house, did a little remodel, and put it on the market and sold it. We, uh, now it's time to pay the people. Yeah, and this is not, uh, this wasn't like a, a business partnership. No. This was a coaching call that as a result of a referral led to a business opportunity. And Greg, we flip houses all the time and the power of our network means that we can flip more houses. So we can be in the Bay Area and find a home in West Sacramento. And how do we do on that one? Uh, we made, we made enough. Okay. <laughs> Did it have a one in front of it or two? Yes, we only do stuff if it, it need, we need 100k to, <laughs> to actually even pull the trigger. So, yeah, we, we, we made it. Okay, so as a result of turning a good profit on a flip, we are gifting our coaching call clients who paid $500 for a one hour con yeah. consultation, right? Today they're getting how much, Greg? Uh, 5,000 each, yeah. So here's $10,000 that we are giving away today to our clients. So if you aspire to make money in real estate and maybe you don't have the money and the capital together or the experience to flip homes, you can reach out to this guy mm -hmm. or myself and we can partner on a deal. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. How do you think they're going to react to 5K? I don't know. Uh, yeah, can I don't we get know that on camera? I don't know how deep the pockets go. So oh, okay. It could be nothing. So by the end of watching this short episode, you're going to not only learn all the numbers from our flip in West Sacramento, but you're going to learn, hopefully we're able to simplify things so that yeah. you can handle, manage, and make money on your first flip. So Greg, let's break down the numbers on this property. Okay, so original purchase price. Original purchase price, what was that? $530,000. $530,000, mm -hmm. okay. Now, did we come up with the full $530,000? No, we came up with the, the uh, seller's rears. So they were behind on their mortgage around $120,000. So we, we caught up there, we came with 120 cash plus the a little, 30, yeah. So we were, I think we were total in 150 in cash. And then um, we left their loan in place and then gave them an extra $50,000 on top of that. So uh, outside of that, it was more money, gave, gave yeah. them that equity. It's important for the audience to know that this was a pre-foreclosure property, so they were literally days away from losing their home and making zero dollars. So as a result of reaching out to the Divine Brothers, we were able to give them $50,000 in cash, which allowed them to move and find new housing, a new yeah. home for their family. And, um, and then what did we do? The quickness with that is like they don't understand when, when you need to close on a deal, they it was too late to even send a wire, so we had to get cashier's checks and drive them out to Sacramento. Um, from the Bay Area. From the Bay Area. So just if, if the deal's worth it, man, it's worth it. So yeah, you, you're going to drive to Sacramento for $100,000 profit. So we drove out here, got the cashier's checks in hand, um, closed the transaction, and then started working on the property with our partners. And we walk through, and we have someone we have video that this would be B-roll, of us walking through the property to establish the remodel budget. And I think you both and I, we agreed on what number? Around $30,000. A $30,000 rehab yeah. budget. And that, my, That's a little low rehab for what we actually do. Right. Um, but with the mark, with interest rates jumping up, we decided to put a little bit of amount in, in this property because the, the market was changing right in front of us. Right when we were writing checks, we already knew the market was changing. So we saw the gap, we saw that, that over extending a property, over developing a property, uh, you're not going to get a return. So we called it do the scrape patch and paint job. So we did very minimal work because like Greg said, we were aware of the shift in the market and you want to make sure that you are conservative in your repairs on a flip in a market that's changing every day. Yes. Right? With interest rates going from 3% to 5%. Yeah, so right when we closed, we, yeah, we were on five, six percent, five, five, nine, I think. So we just needed, we knew we needed to move the property, move it fast. And the real, the real power of why we're sitting here in Sacramento is we've got to give credit to social media, yeah. the power of social media, because we're able to not only meet new investors uh, and get coaching calls as a result of our uh, Instagram, 
but essentially we netted over $100,000 in net profit from this one deal through social media. Mm -hmm. So for those that are sitting out there thinking and contemplating about starting their their Instagram, I think it's time. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. It's time. Yeah. Jump in it. You know, just show your receipts so so you can actually back up what you're doing. So we're not faking the phone. We're not lying. No, here? not at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, my favorite part is giving away money. I give away money all the time and it makes my brother very upset. This time, it's to two very deserving clients. Yes. Keisha and Tracy have no idea what's in this, these envelopes and Jonathan behind the camera is gonna capture their reaction. Hopefully it's a smile and not a blank stare, <laughs> but only time will tell. So we have dinner and we have Invited around 15 guests, whoever's welcome. We're gonna have dinner on the Divine Brothers and talk real estate, have a good time, free drinks, and then uh, what, what? Then what? On to the Go next out? deal. Yeah, on the next deal. We already got. We're already on the next. Deal. Oh, we are on the next deal. Yeah. How do we so meet? So we met the first time. Well, I don't know if we actually met met there, but the first time we were introduced to the Divine Way was at one of the. West Sacramento meetup, investment meetups. Um, and you and Greg were speaking. Like yeah, were speaking we were there. guests yeah. there because <clears throat> DJ and the relationship we have with DJ and Jordan actually. Yeah. Jordan right here. So if we didn't know <laughs> if we didn't know Jordan, we don't end up at the event. But we do, and we ended up there, we were guest speakers, and then we got to I think we followed up with a coaching call. Right. Right, yep. And and how much was the coaching call? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Good lord, that's a lot of money. <laughs> we made it back. But we made it hour. back. Yes, we made it back plus some. Did you? We in, did. in what ways? How how would the audience know? How do you make So it? we made it back really with experience and also having you guys we were partners with a um, a great opportunity. We had um, a seller who was in trouble and needed um, to sell quickly and so the Divine Brothers were amazing they came and um, helped the sellers and and us learn yeah how to I guess what? buy creatively buy creatively how to flip how to and flip. turn a profit exactly. and what to look out for yes and so at the end of we had a very successful flip we did and what are some of the takeaways for someone who's gone through the first flip experience? Because we, essentially you were uh, clients on the coaching call, mm -hmm. but you brought an opportunity. Mm -hmm. We closed on the opportunity, and then I think after we closed on it, we said, well, why don't you and Keisha take a look at how you can uh, learn through this flip process? Right. Yeah, so I mean, I think that was, we learned several things. So we learned how about being creative with the financing. So um, that was huge. Yeah. Uh, and then also just kind of learning how to back into the numbers. Yes. That was really big for us. And then just managing the whole process. Yeah. From the clothes, mm -hmm. from when you purchased, to putting it back on the market, to the contractors, to managing those relationships. Um, it was really, I think, informative for us. We learned a lot on different aspects. Now Keisha still might be upset at me because I didn't remodel the kitchen. We had I, a, am, I am, but that's okay. <laughs> we had a $30,000 budget and we walked through the property. Yes. And what were we doing during that walkthrough? Trying to assess where to Trying spend the Trying to assess money. where to spend the money. I will say, yes. um, it didn't we did work go out over, in the end. We, and it we went over out budget. In the end. However, <laughs> we did not go over budget. No. We went out over budget. Yes, uh, we went over budget. We. We did yes. with the floors. We was like, why did you spend all this money on the floors? Like, I feel like it made all the difference. <laughs> and he was very adamant about having a fountain, which the fountain actually, it did. It, it did was, make yeah. it it, people yeah. loved it, and they wanted to keep it, and they were able to keep it. Yes. Um, so the fountain did make a difference. Yes, that water element is huge for all you flippers out there. <laughs> so. Here's one of the biggest takeaways. It sounds like you're on the journey for your an investment purchase for yeah, yourself. Yeah, and you're gonna yeah. buy it creatively. Yes, yes. Using some and of the same principles. Absolutely, and okay. we're looking for more opportunities. 
So we're partnering with our title companies to find um, more opportunities for us to do this ourselves. Yeah. So, so we're excited. Yeah, I'm excited too because this is really important for the audience to know that when you take action and you make an, a coaching call like what you two did and you split it. We right? did, right. yeah. We did. Fitty fitty, right? Fitty fitty. Fitty, 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 not fitty. That's what we do. Fitty, fitty, fitty. fitty, yes. Okay, so I just want you to know what it feels like when you take uh, an opportunity to invest in yourselves with what you did. I want to let you know that you flipped in that process. You flipped an education, and uh, the Divine Brothers and this one right here uh, is feeling <laughs> feeling like that you needed your five hundred dollars back with a little extra. So oh, thank yeah, you. just take a look at that yeah. and see what that does for you. Let's see. Let's Ke see. What, now everybody watch Keisha's face. <laughs> Alright? Watch my face, huh? Okay. Keisha I, might I be pissed off. Okay. 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 This, is, this is 500 plus some. <laughs> is that is that 10x right there? That, that is. Works. That is. Well actually it was like 250 it. a piece. Right. Right? Yes. So on your $250 investment, what did you get in return? You're pretty good. You're pretty good? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not completely. Now, how do you plan on using these these little funds here? Investing. Exactly. Yeah? Yeah. So, you know, we are partners and we plan on investing okay. our gift. Now, I didn't know whose name to put on the checks. So I left it blank. But the town is active and we don't want to walk around with blank checks. So here's a pin to put on the There put, we go. Yeah, put your name on the check. Hold on, let me put your name on the Thank check. You very much. Oh, <laughs> You're like drop it. Uh -huh. Drop it. <laughs> so yeah, round of applause for these new investors. Making money. Yes. Thank you. And building a generational wealth. Yes. Yes. Oh, so. you put your name on already? Yeah, I did, right? <laughs> I'm not mad. No. What's in my case? I didn't know who owed child support or who didn't. <laughs> oh, but I'm not going to give it to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting involved in that shit. <laughs> Thank you. Of Thank course. You. Yes. And the, the, here's the money pin right there. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, yes. So to wrap this episode up, we just want to encourage the audience out there to tap into their network because you never know what can come of it. And I want everyone out here to just come into the shot right now. I don't care how we squeeze in it together. And that's how we're going to go out. We're going to go out like that. Come on. Come on, everybody, get in, get in, get in. Okay. Everybody just come on in the shot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Right there, yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Right. Yes. Now we need to do the, give them that money, that new money face, like you just came in the song. <laughs> ching ching.